I'm Billy Ray Jones. I'm the mayor here of Nashville, Arkansas, have been the last seven years. I've traveled a lot, and everywhere I go, I'm always glad to come home. Nashville, Arkansas has got great schools, great hospital, a great park. It's just a good place to live, work, and raise your family. To educate these people and to have them enjoy the quality of life that we've been able to give them, a lot of it is driven by Husqvarna and the entities that help support them. It's always been a worry in Nashville, Arkansas, about Husqvarna pulling out, going to Mexico or somewhere else. They're hugely important to us. We're not sitting here, go out here going after another industry or even talking about it. We're wanting to promote what industry we have. If you got skin in the game in a small town, you want to see it survive. To me, it's a no-brainer. The investment is to keep basically the American dream in this little small town. Bottom line is the biggest challenge we're facing today here in Nashville is workforce. Those manufacturing jobs are getting to be more skilled people. Those are the folks that they're really having to go after for today's market. And it's a challenge to make all that happen. My name is Steve Cole and I'm the Chancellor at the University of Arkansas Casa Time. It's about educating, but it's about creating something from that. If we send them out in the community as skilled tradesmen, we know that they're going to be a good employee. We just know it because we know the student and we know what their skills are. Husqvarna, we wouldn't have a workforce department without them. Husqvarna comes together with other industries in an advisory capacity and they make us aware of the skills that are missing, you know, the skills gaps that they've identified and those that are applying for the jobs versus those that they wish that those applicants would have and collectively we create a program to meet those needs. I'm Darlene Romine. I'm a QC Tech Supervisor. I'll make sure that the quality inspectors are doing what they're supposed to do as far as out on the floor inspecting the parts as well as gauging inside the lab. I took Excel, Microsoft Offices, Access, all of that at the Costock College and that's really helped me within my position here at HPN, Husqvarna. It's challenging, it's challenging, but it helps me to grow even within myself as well as the company. At the end of that training, those students are better employees and it makes Husqvarna better. And, and if Husqvarna's better, Nashville's better. We float all the boats and I think that's what these tax credits will do. We had pitched it a couple of times and really we couldn't make it work because for a manufacturer it's tough to make an investment that large without having a return on investment that meets some internal parameters and we couldn't meet those parameters without the new markets deal. We couldn't even get close. So without the new markets tax credit deal that we did, we wouldn't have the one megawatt solar facility that we flipped the switch on today. Everybody comes to Nashville to work and that's because of Husqvarna and it draws a lot to this community. The rest of the businesses feed off of it. The sales tax revenue, the payroll revenue that's created by all the people that work here. We have really great schools and great hospitals that give people a reason to want to live here but they got to have places to work without Husqvarna. Um, it would, I could see 
you know that business would, wouldn't flourish near as well as what they do day in, day out. So it's a crucial investment in this community that we keep them here. All those tax incentives made them able to cut costs, get out here and play on a global marketplace and stay right here in Nashville, Arkansas. We'll look up seven, eight years from now, the decisions that's been made the last couple of years that'll pay big, big dividends. I'm starting to see people move in. I'm starting to see things change. It's a big amount to do with the commitment at Husqvarna. I think the people feel like, hey, they got it going on up there, and so they're starting to come, you know, and, and we see that. We see it in our schools. We see it in a lot of places. So right now, I'm kind of in the mode. I want to keep going just like we're going. We're going okay. <laughs>